gentlemans, welcome back to the shop. Never fails, but you set to assuage your Catholic guilt by cleaning your room a little bit. You already plum had enough. We're gonna do some shop dickery as an alternative. Cast your eyes over here. Go up, way up. And this come by way of chance. As you married, ah, obfuscated. Fine winter eventide, snow gently falling. Hark! A knock at the door. You answer. No one there. You cast your eyes and find a box. What's known as a basket case, full of parts. What the dewclaw left you. Now, as much as you want to dive right in like a horny teenager, you must let the parts come up to temperature at least a year. Uh, what we have is an Italian beauty. Gaggia, Gaggia, classique, an espresso machine, small, built for backpacking. Customer states, no worky worky. It's all kind of strewn asunder and this much is obvious, ain't got no gas in her. Now the Duke Law, may his name live on in infamy, had this in his sailboat for years and years and years. Put him in his camping rig and I think she froze cock stiff. But look at this. Not an electronical in the bunch. Beautiful. Look at these ka chunk ka chunk switches. Snappy. And the indicators. Neon. They are neon bulb indicators. Flicker, flicker. Magic. Apart from this thing being dead, it's a killing machine, partner. Hand burnished, brushed rather. Stainless steel 304, look at that. All spot welded. And you'll note, none of the spot welds are visible. Now that is an attention to detail, which you don't get if you're designing for the thing to merely last a couple of years. This thing's designed to last forever. And then you get the parts. There's no special chips that go out of style. Just ka-chunk, ka-chunk switches, wires and hoses, pumps, castings. At first blush, this looks rather ungainly. However, if you don't understand the whole, you break it into small little bits and lo and behold, it's not that complicated at all. A little vibratory pump here, solenoid valve. There's gotta be a heating element, which is likely still in the box which gives us a clue as to what the nature of the emergency is. Found it, right where you left it in the box. This is the heating I looked at, it's casting. Aluminum with some silica for quick nucleation, nice small grain structure on that. Skookumers, frig, look at that. And then machined with actual fasteners, but you can see we have a problem. If you look at the basal platen, she's got a hog to her. Or no, hog. Which, yeah, hog. She's got a hog to her. Hog back. And you can see here, it's de craqué. So this must have got left with some water in it. And then she froze cock stiff. Because it takes about 100 PSI or so to make cappuccino. Or rather, espresso. Now what are we going to do about that? We just... Get the whole assembly new. Mightn't be worth it. This thing looks expensive. Are we going to TIG weld it? Let me know what you think. Looks expensive as frig because it is. I bet you somebody fixes these. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice.